Right, morning folks, it's uh, Saturday the 29th of July, um, I'm down on the plot all day, harvest day today, uh, the onions have flopped over, um, I'm on my third picking of them monster peas, but first of all it's garlic time. This is Solent White, um, I've never really grown garlic properly before, I've had a couple of dabbles, and, but this went in in spring early spring so it got it got some frost um, I didn't put it in last year because I only got this allotment in November and as you all know that's following me I've been working on it so this this was one of the first things to go in the, the onions and the, the garlic so um, quite how I'm going to do this I don't know I think what I'll have to do is just dig a few up and now I've already started there's some all I'm doing it's not easy one handed I've, I've been all over YouTube and had a look. Everybody says that you must get the fork in and, and, and dig under. Um, I'm just giving it a bit of a shake. Get as much as I can off it. And then give it a good wash. Sorry. Give it a good wash. I'll clean all the bits of snot off. Um, like this lot, like that. So what I'll do is I'll come back once I've got them all. Walk it up, see them all. Right folks, so I've harvested all my garlic. Uh, I'm just planning it to dry for a little bit because um, I've washed it all. I mean there is some absolute whoppers. I am really, really happy. Um, I've not really grown garlic before properly. I've had a dabble and put one or two cloves in and that, but you know, I'm really, really pleased with this. Um, I'm just gonna, like I say, I'm gonna dry it on here for a little bit, and then I'm gonna put it in about three bunches, um, and just hang it up in the shed down here for a bit. Um, I've also harvested my red onions. Now, I don't bother, this is where they were, as you can see, I've top dressed with compost, um, I've put some peas in, I've had them grow in a few weeks in little pots, um, so I don't bother drying red onions, so I've just got to come up here, um, I just clean them all up and I'll take them home tonight, put them through the fruit processor, uh, chop them all up and bag them up put them in the freezer. Same again, I'm really pleased with these, like I said, I have got big hands and they're, you know, they're a fair size. There are some smaller ones, but they're all, you know, really nice onions. I've got to be honest, I'm surprised because I don't normally get such big, uh, they're red, red barren. Um, but really pleased with them. So there's a, some of them going on. A few beans from the dwarf and a little courgette and a big courgette. It's a bit too big, but it'll be fine. So that's it, really. Not going to bother uh, with much of a sort of update. Everything's just growing like mad, as you can see. Um, I'll do a proper one um, sort of next weekend. I just wanted to show you my garlic really uh, I am so chuffed um, I'll just get up there yeah so right thank you very much folks bye bye for now